Life sucks. It's half eleven and the snooze button's broken from overuse. You're finally up, but you're out of your favourite cereal, so you settle for corn chips and ice cream. Literally, corn chips and ice cream. You curse to yourself as you stain your fifth best sweater, abusing your right to feel good television, desperately convincing yourself that the world isn't a cold, horrible place at all, when really, you know it is. And worse still, it's probably someone else's fault. Everybody hates you, everything's gone to shit, and it all just makes you want to scream what's wrong with the world today. I guess it's just as well then, I'm here to find out. So what is wrong with the world today? Okay, you know it, I know it. There's plenty bad about this place we call planet Earth. Where would I even begin? I thought I'd start with my parents, because hey, a whole generation ahead of mine, they're pretty much responsible for everything here. Thumbs up guys. Well, that's fair enough, but I think I need to speak to people a little more on the level. People my own age, we're next in line to inherit all this, so it might be handy to know just what needs fixing around here, or what we could, you know, ignore. Whatever, right? There's a lot wrong with the world today. The economy's fucked. I would say religion. The government's fucked. Stupidity is what's wrong with the world, as well as religion. We're all fucked. I don't mean to, to sound like an asshole, but, you know, little kids, the youth of Australia particularly is a bit um, on the lame side of things. <laughs> Our forefathers have produced a lot of problems for us and that pisses me off. So maybe that's why kids are, are so annoying. It's just because they're pissed off. They're pissed off with all the problems that our parents and grandparents have, have left for us. So slow, oh. slow walking. Nah, fuck. I'm a very slow walker. Fuck you. Um, I don't like stupid people. We label each other and that's what creates division. I fucking hate homeless people. Right here, we're blaming politicians, we're blaming religion, we're blaming media, but no one ever blames themselves mm. for the problems in the world. You're to blame. I am to blame. Ah, that's fine. I'm to blame too. You are? Yeah. Shit you've been doing. Well, OK, but I can't just leave my investigation there. I should at least try to represent the views of our society as a whole. After all, everyone has something to say, and it just so happens I'm in the mood to listen. And so for the final time, world, what's wrong with you? It's time to hit the streets of Melbourne to find out. Oh, there's a lot of things. I just, I'm just a true hater. But, um... <laughs> we need a, a war because I think we're overpopulated. Uh, I think overpopulation is a big problem. We're an animal, so I think we should have a, a bit of a cull as well. Um, I have a, a light interest in politics. If you want to talk about a politician who is annoying, then you have to talk about Howard. My mum has a grudge on John Howe and she likes Kevin Rudd. <laughs> no, I like Kevin Rudd. I think Mr Howard looks like a cockroach. <laughs> uh, religion, take two different religions, two people are happy two different ways, then once they finally meet each other, that's when they kill each other. Tolerant, we're a tolerant society. I actually see that as a negative. I, I would prefer to be not a tolerant, I don't want, I want to embrace difference. I like the idea of welcoming difference, not tolerating difference. Well people look at like the emo culture on the steps and they think you know oh they're emo let's not talk to them let's bag them let's throw things at them or the crime rate here yeah with people going bashing people just for money that's ridiculous. Yeah in, in the city there's so many stabbings and yeah. <laughs> the problem is individuals and and how strong or weak-minded they are to motivate themselves in their own lives. We hear about how it takes um, far fewer muscles to smile than to frown. Um, I think that's analogous of society too. Uh, it's harder to be nasty, to lack compassion, yet uh, we seem to do a good job at it. Well, there you have it. 
As you can see, I've received an overwhelming amount of responses as to my question of what's wrong with the world today, which I guess just goes to show you that no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, you're probably pissed off at something. But by the same token, the world needs its angry people. It's the world-weary, frustrated cynics in us that stand up and make a difference. We set the ball rolling. Without us to whinge, whine and complain all the time, nothing would ever get done. Nothing would ever change. So the next time you're feeling plain over the world and down for the count, remember this, my friends. Scream. Scream all of your petty quibblings and obscenities to the world, because, my friends, anger is the first step towards change. Good night.